Hi guys, you're welcome to Halogenous Ideas. In this video, we are going to be talking about booleans in Python. The boolean data type in Python is a fundamental data type that represents truth values, true or false. Booleans are essential for making decisions and controlling the flow of a program through conditional statements. So let's explore the details of boolean data types that we have in Python. The basic usage is doing something like um, you can say is Python fun. The value will, will obviously be true. Okay. So something as little as this. This is a boolean data type. Another thing you can do something like is admitted if the person is not admitted false. Okay, so these are the two truth values. These are the two possible values of a boolean, true or false. So we can print this Python phone. If I save this and I run it, you see it is giving me true. Now, the reason why it is giving me true is not because Python truly is fun to learn, <laughs> but because I set the truth value over here. All right, so I can also have is admitted. If I should run this, guess what? It's get, it's be, it, it will be giving me false. Alright? If I should look for the type, the type, and I run it. So, you see, it is giving me BOOL because this is the constructor for the Boolean. Okay? This is the, um, the Boolean object. This is the object for, for Booleans. So, we have. Um, you can also generate these truth values from relational or logical um, statements using the relational or the logical operators. For example, you can have something like this. If you are using the comparison operators now, comparison operator. If you are using the comparison operator, for example, you can say um, result equal to twenty greater than seven. Okay print the results guess what 20 is greater than 7 so it will be giving me true the reason why it's giving me true is because this um comparison operator greater than is returning true because the operand this operand over here is greater than this operand over here if i want to test 20 for even number for you to get an even number the both operands what am I saying? The number must be able to, if you divide the number by 2, the remainder will be 0. So for me to test 20 for being even number or odd number, all I have to do is 20 modulus 2 equal to 0. So this 20 modulus 2, what this is checking for is after dividing 20 by 2, what will be the remainder? Okay, if the remainder is zero, then it will, it will be returning true. Don't forget that this operator over here and this operator over here, they are two different operators. This one is used for comparison. Okay, this is used for comparison. Um, or, or it's a relational operator, a comparison operator. This is an assignment operator, strictly for assignment. So if I should run this, you see, it is giving me true because 20 is an even number. If I come here and I use 21, it will be giving me false because 21 is not an even number. All right. So, clear. So, you can also do something like this. If I have, um, say, 4, um, I can say 4 less than or equal to, say, 23. Both statements does not have to be correct. Doesn't have to be correct. Only one of them have to be correct for this to return true. So if I should run this, it will give me true. Four is not equal to twenty-three, but it is less than. So you can see that I'm combining two different conditions over here. So obviously, it is going to be giving me true. So that is how you generate truth values. That is how you generate a boolean from comparison operations. You can also generate it from logical operations. You have the AND, the NOT, or the, the AND, OR, and NOT. For example, if I have something like TRUE and TRUE, it will be giving me a boolean, which is what? TRUE, basically. Alright? So, you can, you can also have NOT TRUE. Not true will be giving me false straight away. Not true will be giving me false because the not, like I explained in a previous video, I said it negates whatever 
um, it's in the it negates the or the operand basically because it's a unary operator, meaning that it requires only one operand to run. So it will negate that operand basically. So that is that is all about um. Okay, this one is logical operator. Okay, the and the not and the or they are used to perform logical operations. So um, we also have the truth and falsity values. Okay, we have the truth and the falsity values. So, for the following values, for the following values, the first one is false, which is obviously going to return false. If you have zero, okay, then if you have an empty string, let me use dub double string in this case. If you have an empty string, if you have um, an empty list, if you have um, an empty dictionary, okay, so and none. If you remember the non data type, so all these values are going to be returning false if you try to look for the Boolean equivalent. Okay, if you try to look for the Boolean equivalent of all these values, it is going to be giving you false. For example, let me let me just take the other of this and bring it here. I'm trying to look for the Boolean equivalent now. How can I find the Boolean equivalent of false? Just B O O L then false which is the boolean constructor this b o o l if i run this see what it will be giving me it will be giving me false then the other what if i run boolean true if i run this it will be giving me what true okay let me clear my terminal so what if i want to look for the truth value of zero zero if i run this you see it's giving me false but what if i say 24 it's giving me true. What if I say negative 24? It's also be giving me true. So far it is not zero. If you try to look for the truth value, then it will be giving you true. But if it is zero, it will be giving you false. The same thing goes for empty list, empty dictionary, and the um, non-data type, basically. So that is how to, you, you look for the truth values. Let us write a bit of conditional statement here to explain these uh, truth values, but don't worry, in some subsequent videos, we'll be talking about conditional statements. So, um, for this one, if I want to test for, um, I can say, let me take this one out. I can do something like value equal to, I can say value equal to maybe false. Okay. So, if value print this is a truth value, then else print this is a false value. I think it should be truthy. I hope I'm correct. <laughs> I hope I'm correct to the spelling. So, um, if I should run this, you see, this is a false value, and the reason is because if you evaluate it, if you evaluate this value originally, it's going to be giving you false. What if I evaluate zero, and I run this? It will also be giving me false. What if I do for six? It will be giving me true and not false. All right. So that is that is that about um, that. Um, you can also write a boolean function. Functions can return boolean values. When we talk about functions, you will understand this one better. But in Python, your functions can return boolean um, values. How can you do that? It's very simple. If you write a function, sorry, in subsequent videos, just try to be following the playlist. I'm going to release courses on. No, I'm going to release the tutorial for functions. So, and by the time you're watching this tutorial, I might have released it too. For you to write a function that returns a Boolean value, it's very, very simple. We can use this simple um, explanation. It's even, then I'm passing a number, and the number, what I want to do is just to return um, the number percentage 2 equal to zero just like what i did the other time to, to test for even or odd number for me to pr i can just for me to use the function so is even 
it's even then i'll do something like um let me say seven if i should run this it will be giving me false let me clear my terminal so it's even it's going to it's even seven what if i do is even six i run this it's giving me true what if i do is even five i run it you see it's giving me false so your function your functions can also return um can also return uh, boolean values there's also this thing they call boolean casting okay boolean casting what we did when we were explaining integers converting from one point to the other is what we call type casting in programming i forgot to mention so we call it type casting in programming where you convert from one type data type to the other so for you to typecast in booleans all you have to do is simply for you to use the bool constructor bool value for example equal to the bool constructor then you do something like um say 42 for example this is going to be giving you true so print bool value so this will be giving you true straight away this will be giving you true straight away okay it will be giving you true so um i will not be dwelling much on that the last thing that we are going to be talking about under booleans so in python there is this thing python does that we call short circuiting okay there is this thing python does that we call short circuiting so python uses uh, short circuit evaluation with and and or meaning that the second operand is not evaluated if the result is already determined okay so you can have something like this you can have something like this so for you to use the short circuiting you can say function print hello so you can just say i'm not passing in any value what am i doing this should be def too much of javascript <laughs> so um i can do something like print hello world so now for me to use short circuiting i can do something like um results result s-u-l-t equal to i can do something like false and then i'll call my function print hello guess what if i should run this the function will not be called the reason is because false this false already negates this and over here the false already negates this and that is over here okay what if i do something like true and i run it now you will notice that while this was um false initially it will not run this function the reason is because false negates the and but since i'm using true true and print hello okay you can see that i'm not printing hello from this result over here i'm printing hello from this function and i'm using short circuiting over here to call the function only if this other operand is true all right this is how you do um short circuiting in in python using booleans but you will really have to use it as a beginner it is when you start doing advanced stuff that you do short circuiting so just don't bother yourself with it so understanding boolean data types and their usage is very fundamental for writing conditional logic and making decisions in python programs booleans are a powerful tool for controlling the flow of your code based on conditions making your programs more dynamic and responsive all right so it is very important for you to know how booleans work it is it is not something that should take much of your time understanding it but um you need a very very strong grasp of booleans for you to be able to write um efficient and um accurate python code so thank you very much for staying till the end for watching till the end don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have any comments please drop it in the comment section and we'll respond asap and don't forget that we have a python community where we support coders basically beginners so you can always check us out the link will be in the description below thank you very much i'll see you in the next tutorial bye for now